Well, the issue here is really about fairness before the law, whether we have the rule of law in Singapore or not. The minister has shared that some of the exceptions involve the offender having absconded or abs absconded. Uh, may I ask the first question then, did the police specifically issue a written order for Mr. Lee Sien Yang and Ms. Lim Shek Fen to attend to the investigation at the police station? Secondly, he mentioned the difference between uh, the KOM case and this case. Um, but is it the KOM, KOM case also a matter of very wide public interest? A lot of people are very interested in, in uh, the, the names of the six individuals. And I do not understand the uh, legal process very well, but under the, let the stern warning letter, is there a paragraph that say that these six individuals of the KOM are guilty, but the prosecutor decided, or the CPI, CM, uh, CPIB decided, not to pursue the case because of some other reasons. So we have a situation here that for the KOM case, actually it's a more serious case, they are actually guilty. And we have the names in the, in the, in the foreign uh, jurisdiction documents or that already, actually, this one point. Second point is that the KOM case is actually of deep public interest. So why is there a double standard? I took some care to explain the difference between the KOM case and the case of Mr. Liu and the Lees. As I understand the member, he says that, well, the KOM case is a case of public interest. People are interested to know the names. So why is there a double standard? Did the member listen to the explanation on the difference between the KOM case and the case of the Lees and Mr. Liu? Perhaps the member can go into a little bit of detail based on the explanation I've given on the differences and tell us which part of the explanation he disagrees before he alleges double standards. Get to the facts. I have set out what the differences are. So tell me which part you don't understand or you disagree with. And on his first question, did police issue a written order? They were given an email. They promised that they will come and uh, agree, give an interview. They then left the jurisdiction and they have said both to the police and in public that they will not cooperate with the police. They will not even come back into the jurisdiction. I think that is why I said they are essentially abscondists from justice. But for the record, I have made it very clear why the disclosure here is consistent with the disclosure in the Carl Lewis case and you, sir, through you, I would also like to ask Mr. Leong, if Mr. Leong didn't see any problem when Mr. Liu's name was mentioned in similar circumstances, in fact, he took part in the debate and wanted a commission of inquiry, why this extraordinary concern suddenly about the lease that he didn't show for Mr. Liu and perhaps he can explain why his approach shows double standards. Mr. Leong. Minister, there you go again. I ask you a question and Mr. you Leung. frame it in Mr. a different Leung. context. You can address it, Shubhi, yes. lower the temperature. Yes, Thank he, you. he addressed it in a different context and then asked me a question. But can you answer my question first? Did, you, did the police issue a written order to Mr. Lee Sien Yang and Ms. Lim Shafen? Sir, I answered Minister. the question. I understand. Or email, okay. To aid understanding of what he said earlier, um, 
I think the question was posed to him by Mr. Leong about whether the police had actually issued an order to Mr. Lee Sien Yang and uh, Mrs. Lee to attend the uh, interview. And his answer was that he, they were emailed and they said that they would cooperate. So, so do I read from that that actually the police had not gotten to the stage when an order under the CPC Criminal Procedure Code was actually issued to them? That is right, sir. So a specific order under the CPC was not issued. The police normally would not issue such an order. They would first contact and speak with and send a written document. And if a party says that uh, they will cooperate, the police would assume in good faith that that's how they will proceed. And that is what was done. And the next thing the police heard was uh, another email from the couple saying that they will not cooperate. But by then, they were already, as I said, essentially absconded from jurisdiction.